Hello and welcome to my eggshell vid. Hello and welcome to my eggshell video with Maria Dellis. This is a quick little view of a gourd that has uh, eggshells right here in the very middle. This is embossed and um, just a quick visual as to the finished look and other things that you could do with eggshells. Right now today's project is going to involve this little shard here and um, again this is the finished look well w the eggshells are finished the rest of it has a little bit of color just so it gave it a little bit more definition however today's focus is eggshells and um, but to explain that this these two blackened parts here is the lovely terracotta finish that everybody has enjoyed so much using and uh, it actually complements the eggshells quite nicely. I would suggest you avoid any very busy kind of pattern on each side of the eggshell because it's too much uh, with the eggshell effect. And then up here is a copper cloisonne embossing powder. All of the above products and everything but the eggshells I sell online mariasartcreations.com and let's take the working shard where I've already added the terracotta and when I apply the eggshells I will show you speak with you quickly as to how the terracotta was added next to it. Your eggshells can begin with uh, your baking and your breakfast uh, cooking eggs just crack them and then rinse them out very very well under running cold water and remove as much of the membrane as you can and um, the point of um, uh, trying your best not to crack them in, in a million pieces would be nice because they are easier to work with in larger pieces as you will notice when I go about using them then we can crack them and then the few pieces that do crackle um, are always kept and used uh, to fill in those small little spots. So the membrane is very important to remove due to the uh, best adhesive uh, we can get um, between the glue and the eggshell. Uh, the best glue to use is the most um, um, versatile tacky glue, original tacky glue. And throughout this video, I don't want to confuse you because I am going to be using squeeze bottles. I love these needle nose squeeze bottles. I sell these for um, on, online as well. They're wonderful, and you will notice that I'll be using them with other paints. These are the Jacquard paints that you will see online in the original bottle. I put them in the squeeze bottles and you'll see as I operate with them how much easier it is to use the squeeze bottles. They're left um, more um, um, from the air, uh, less air containing. The dryness of your product is um, another factor and the ease of using the small amount that you need at a time and that way you don't have to keep opening the jar and exposing it to the air. Um, we're going to begin with using the tacky glue in the um, designated area. Again, let me just say that your choice being uh, using a pattern as I did with the bear, uh, the, with the first bear that I just showed you, or let's say we want to just create a boundary and we would use masking tape just to mask off the area as I have already done for you and on the other side I wood burned. Wood burned deeply which gives you a much greater effect and a wonderful definition difference between the two surfaces. Going to the tacky glue and let's go in small areas the glue dries very quickly I will distribute it as best as I can within this immediate area with the paintbrush. And don't worry if it should possibly get over on the um, terracotta. We don't worry about that. It is because of two things. It dries clear and it's not going to hurt a thing. But we want to try to keep the glue within that boundary. The uh, I recommend using a baby wipe and just wrapping the tip of the brush so it stays fresh as you continue using it. 
then take one of the um, larger pieces of the eggshell and just press it hard right into the glue. Now what's going to happen when you use your fingers, there's glue that will attach to your finger. So I like to immediately go back to a baby wipe and try to catch and also remove what didn't stick because we'll put fresh glue on. There's a little spot right in here. And what happens is when you try to do it with your finger, you end up taking more off than you need to. But the baby wipe helps press it in. What you're doing at that time is possibly removing some of the glue. So this is a constant on and off project of adding uh, glue. Fresh glue, even though I just put it down, we're going to do more. Because we have a nice deep surface here, I'm using the back side of the X-Acto knife, not the sharp side. And I'm going to allow them to crack, the eggshell to crack. And uh, whatever should possibly lift at this time, we will add more glue and just put it right back in place. But do you see how I now have that nice boundary on the edges to create a nice clean um, area? But we don't want to play with it too much. Just in case we have more work to do in a minute, I will share with you how to keep this more stable. Okay, that is about all I would do in the first stage of cleaning. To proceed, I would go over the bare spots with fresh glue. And you could see some of them lifted, which means there wasn't enough glue to begin with. So no harm done. Let's just put some nice fresh glue on. I um, am now reminded to share with you that if you are adding the glue a little bit too thin, this is what's going to happen. It doesn't hurt to put the extra glue on because the next process will explain how well it cleans um, very nicely, cleans up. So if you see I got glue on top of that eggshell, I'm not going to worry about it. And I'm filling in the holes now and I'm going to put some extra glue right here in this spot and then when I want to start using um, smaller pieces to add and fill in. I'm going to go over with the tweezers and push it push it in and try not to use your fingers again. You'll keep pulling up the eggshells. That one is already starting to form a very nice section. The very quick next thing we're going to do is move on to show you that this has already been completed. And in order to do color now, I'd like to share with you the importance of, um, of um, getting the um, product in there. And um, we're going to do the black neopaque paint. It's acrylic paint. In a minute, uh, what I suggest though that we're going to do very quickly is first let's go ahead and emboss just in case there's any chance that embossing powder will fly into the area we need to clean that up before we start painting. I'm going to use the same brush, just wiping off the glue, and I'm using the heat activated glue in black. We're going to just quickly paint this top surface. And we're using gold, uh, pardon me, forgive me, copper, cloisonne, embossing powder. I'm dipping the whole section right in, just to let you know that the only time you do not have to preheat the uh, surface is when you're using embossing powder. And um, with the heat tool, we're going to cook this embossing powder. I suggest that if you have one of the more powerful tools, heat tools, point the um, the heat tool from the below line up to, towards the top as you see I'm doing. That way if any straggling powder 
should release itself, it's going to fly in the opposite direction and not on the terracotta. Sometimes it can do that and it just takes a little bit more work on your part to have to clean it up. So now we have um, another textured surface which is really, really nice and that is the embossing powder that everybody has well liked. Very, very nice surface. And um, then we're going to go now to the black acrylic paint. And we're using a stipple brush. Because what I'd like to do is make it look like um, the grouting effect in the background of the shell. And we're going to push all of that black paint right in. Okay, there is one small little thing that I just need to back up a minute to share with you before we do that, if there was any need of you to address um, some shells that needed, needed cleaning, um, we can use, as I will show you right now, the um, fine grit, and I'm just sanding off the edge so it's even with my uh, shard surface. And if there was any need, look at how much more you'd be able to do to the top of the eggshell to um, soften, move any tiny little pieces that needed to come off uh, where the glue didn't quite handle. And uh, that's all you need to do. Go back to the stipple brush and create um, the black background. And I'm pushing it in as best as I can, and then I will wipe it right off, which is kind of cool because it gives us a little bit of a, uh, a grouting effect within the, the area of the tiles. And wipe it right off, leaving that on purpose, we're leaving the black in there. And to be truthful with you, it's up to you if you want to stop right there. You've got a nice finish as, as it is right there. I'm going to just take it a step further um, and share with you that chestnut ink with a sponge is the next process that I'm going to do. And I'm going to pat chestnut ink directly over the shells and all of the black ink. This is now another finish that you can enjoy. And look at how pretty that is. Again, another finish that you can be very happy with. Um, the very easy next step thereafter is using this wonderful varnish that I sell, Maria's Art Creations Polyurethane Varnish. Before you do that, Let's take a very quick moment to uh, heat setting the ink. I want you to be aware that what can happen if you hold it too long, especially if you have one of the more powerful tools, wave it really good. What will happen is um, the um, glue can sort of soften a little bit. It will harden right back to the, its original uh, set stage. And don't worry about losing any of the eggshells. But what's going to happen is that um, glue can soften just a little. Varnish it. And let's say that that is finished. One more step. If you're not accepting that as color, we can add a little bit of a glow, which I did after and I put just some uh, of the Chicard Metallic Copper Finish. It is entirely your choice, but I happen to like both of them, so I'm going to leave this one as is. Thank you so much for watching, and please stay tuned for another video free on my website. It will be with wire coiling, and you've got to watch that one. You're going to love it. Thank you.